food processing industry does have certain expectations associated with this budget. Uh, for example, under Section 81B of Income Tax Act, any industrial enterprise or undertaking engaged in infrastructural projects is given uh, up to 100% uh, deduction on profits for 10 consecutive years since inception. Uh, we would like this benefit to be extended to food parks and mega food parks also. Also under Section 35 AD of Income Tax Act, there is a 150% deduction allowed on expenditure of uh, investment on cold chain infrastructure related projects. Uh, we would, uh, this is up to, uh, from 2012 onwards, we would like the same benefit to be extended to cold chain projects uh, before 2012 projects. So we can take a 10 year horizon associated prior to 2012 associated projects. Also, uh, we would like the prioritization of subsidy to be taking place. Uh, right now, uh, um, as of effective 1st April 2015, uh, there was a national mission on food processing which got migrated to different states. However, different states have not taken up uh, those benefits uh, uh, and reflected it to their uh, some states have and some states haven't. So we would like uh, all the states associated to be encouraged to ensure that these uh, uh, benefits, including any subsidy associated, are uh, shared and dispersed to food processing enterprises throughout the state. Also under Section 32 of Income Tax Act, uh, accelerated depreciation of 80% is allowed uh, to some of the food processing sectors such as roller flour mills and etc. We would like these benefits to be extended to all areas of food processing sector. The food processing sector would like to see a higher allocation of budget to Ministry of Food Processing uh, Industries, Government of India. Uh, the uh, budget currently associated is in our opinion low and there are many more schemes uh, especially oriented towards SME sector that can be introduced uh, by Ministry of Food Processing. Uh, right now the schemes of Ministry of Food Processing are more infrastructure related oriented. Uh, these are very capital intensive projects. Uh, the industry would love to see certain schemes that are brought forward to benefit the SME sector specifically. Uh, which is more related to projects that are coming in uh, uh, beyond the cold chain and the uh, uh, mega infrastructure and the lab associated with it.